Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Last part we unlocked this door after exploring the upper part of the castle. Now let's explore the basement. Let's see what's going on here. Why are there guards in the basement? I mean, are, are they assuming that somebody's gonna find the back way in here? At, uh, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> hey, get off the edge. Just stop it. Yeah, ha -ha. You will not survive my sword bouncing. <laughs> Well, you can do a little damage to me in the meantime, though. By the way, pots tend to kill a lot of things in one hit. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah! <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, the pots are surprisingly powerful. <laughs> this is more powerful than your typical sword. And I lost my pot during the transition. That makes me very sad. Oh, so sad. So this pathway right here, you probably noticed, will lead you back the other way. So we're not going to go that way just yet. I'm just going to... Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. Stop it! Get! I'm gonna get him over here! Yeah! Ha! Yeah! I need to get him in a position that I can slash him with my sword, even if I have to do it cheaply. <laughs> yeah, this sort of thing works too. You can go right through walls with your sword as long as they're one square wide. Hey there. As long as I'm up here, you are done. <laughs> so, uh-oh. Uh-oh, locked door. Ah, uh, we can't go that way, so let's go this way. Blue soldier? Blue sword, sword soldier, I should say. Get out of my way, stop it! Key! And I got a boomerang! Woo! And I will most certainly give that a try. So you go into the start menu. Yeah, you can also see you got some other stuff that are potentially collectibles and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, here's the boomerang. And you can throw it around. You can, o you can use it to stun stuff, kill certain things. Uh, you can also use it to grab stuff towards you, like say if a rupee or something drops, which is this game's currency, as you see I've got seven of those. You're probably familiar with those if you're a Zelda player. And uh, you can use the uh, boomerang to grab those, you can use the boomerang to grab keys, it's a handy little item, really. And oh, it looks like we have arrived at the dungeon. Oh, stop! No, 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 not gonna happen. But I will take your heart and eat it. Oh, why, hello there, Pot. He would be quite handy versus this ball and chain soldier of doom. Well, it's just called ball and chain soldier. They are a really annoying enemy and will probably be the first enemy that will kill you in this game. <laughs> but the pots make them short. I mean, they make short work of those guys. <laughs> They're very hard to defeat with the sword if you're inexperienced. So now that I got the big key, I can open this up and, uh... Thank you, Link! I had a feeling you were getting close! Listen, Link, listen carefully! The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle! I fear the worst for my father! The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers! Hmm... This is kind of complicated, but I, I think I'll just say yes. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Alright, so she's gonna follow me. By the way, blue rupees are five, green rupees are one in their value. By the way, all these pots contain hearts if you need to recover yourself versus Yol Ball and Chain Soldier if you decided to tackle him with your sword, which I don't recommend directly, but you will have to later. But I mean, this early in the game, you might be a little bit inexperienced and that might cause you ire if you dare to try and take down the Ball and Chain Soldier with your sword. Uh, what you want to do is close in and attack him when after he flings his Ball and Chain at you and then run away quickly. Just do one strike at a time like that. It, it seems really cowardly, but if you don't do it that way, he's going to destroy you really quick. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can sneak past this guy right here. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, <laughs> uh, hey, how about you go around this side, and I'll go around this side. <laughs> that works. It works perfectly, in fact. <laughs> All right, now let's go... This way, I think I shall. Yeah, why not? It doesn't really matter which way I go. Oh, what the heck happened to my button? <laughs> I don't know. It, kind of, it looked like stuck or something. I don't know, whatever. It's like, I know sword button is B. I'm, I'm hitting B. It's not buttoning. <laughs> There's a secret passage, passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. And this is why I showed you this place a little bit earlier in here, because... Because this is the place with the secret passage. Bye, guys. <laughs> So when you get up here, you'll another little tutorial sort of thing. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? 
It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. If you try to push it from the right, this will not work whatsoever. So you really do have to push it from the left for some reason. Maybe it's on a track or something. What's going on here? <laughs> Come on, let's do. There we go. What the heck is going on? Seriously. <laughs> All right. So, we need a light, huh? 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 Yeah, it's, it's pretty dark in here. So, we can go back over here, switch to our lamp, and you're not going to notice any effect right away. <laughs> but that's okay. You will in just a minute here. Like, we put that on. Look at that! Look at we can see! It's magical! And, uh, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm going to show you the power of the boomerang! Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's what a boomerang can do and wait actually I'll, I should check this I mean I should show you this as well these little rats here wah wah oh yeah you can stun them with that <laughs> oh no yeah these lights eventually burn out and you gotta relight them so whoop, yeah all right let's get this rat infestation taken care of here I mean this is just terrible I mean this is like one of the high-end places of this, you know, of the lands, isn't it? You know, it's the central castle of Hyrule. You'd think they'd have better sanitization procedures or something like that. No, I guess not. Anyway, just keep lighting your way in. Oh no, oh no, ropes! The snakes, and they dash at you when they see you. <laughs> oh, stop it, stop, no, 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 uh uh. Eh. Stop it, stop, no. Hey, no, 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 aha! And that was pointless to light that lantern. <laughs> or light that torch. I just did it because. Now watch, wait for it, wait for it. Yep, these, the, these guys tend to get people on their first run through because they don't know they're there and they, ah, and they run right into them. <laughs> so just wait by the entrance there and wait for them to run towards you. And uh, yeah, I still got hit by one, but whatever. And uh, I got this, yeah, torch over here. Now we can see a lot more clearly. Yeah, I'm gonna open this up. Oh, there's a key! Why would they be just like having the key just hanging around on chests and stuff like that? It's kind of weird if you think about it. <laughs> Usually you put those sort of things on a keychain. After passing through these sewers, we will be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Wait, she said to sanctuary, not to the sanctuary. I think that's grammatically incorrect, but whatever. <laughs> By the way, the rats do not like to go on the water, so... In this particular segment, you are perfectly safe as long as you hang out on the water. Yeah, I don't know why they don't, but they don't. <laughs> it's, it's weird, and I want that rupee. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bunch of rupees later. I'm gonna stock up on the Ooh, red rupee, worth 20. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Give me some more pocket change. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't I didn't really think it was gonna give me pocket change. I just, just slashed at it and just hoped for the best. Hmm, let's see what we got here. Look at some water. I'm not gonna take any of those pots just yet, otherwise I might unleash the rats. And that's a keys, those flying blue things. Yeah, they're bats. They kind of move around sorta, kinda, randomly, maybe in a way. Sorta. And by the way, let's see what's in the, the, these pots. Ooh, more magic to replace the stuff that I've used in Ye Old Lantern. Aha! Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. That rat was very confused. It, it was like, I don't I don't know what to do. This place is really confusing. And I can't touch the water. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the next place out is over here. And, uh-oh. 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 Hello there. I think you're the rat that I'm looking for. Eh. Yes, you are. It has a key. Yeah, for, for some reason, the, a rat is holding a key. I, <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. It, it just, enemies, and it, regardless of whether or not they're actually thinking they're supposed to be guarding something, they, they, they can carry stuff. <laughs> anyway, moving on. That wall is awfully suspicious. Hmm. 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 That wall. It sounds different. Then other walls, when I flick my sword at it by holding it, see when I hold my sword like that, out like that, and then push towards the wall, you flick at it? Hmm, it sounds different. Hmm, hmm. Keep that sound in mind. Hey! No random turns. No random 
turns. I, I'm the random one here. You will not steal a spotlight from me. <laughs> and uh, now, you, you got a sort of kind of little puzzle here, but this puzzle isn't really much of a puzzle. Because there's only one of these things that you could push. <laughs> so yeah, let's go up and through here. And man, if this, it, it, we're at the first floor and there's still a rat invasion. My god, this, it's just terrible. There's got to be poop everywhere. It's like the plague is just terrible. It's, how does anyone stay healthy in this place? Hmm. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Hmm. Wait, what's, which switch do you mean? Which switch do you mean? Huh, what if I pull this one? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Ropes from the heavens! Yeah, that's what that one does. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know which one is the correct one. It's just fun to do that, because they just drop out of nowhere. Even though it's, you know, it's a set trap by the game. It's a 50-50 chance of getting the wrong one. And chances are, players are going to try both switches anyway for kicks. But I want to try the wrong one first, just to, just to show you what would happen. Oh! Princess Zelda, you are safe! Is this your doing, Link? I, uh, yeah! Yes, I, I would very much appreciate some reward money. Uh, 200 rupees should do it. Yes. Wait, actually make it 500. I need to get myself a new pair of boots. Yes. What? No? Okay. Yes, it was Link who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I finish with you, the final one! The seal the wise men will open. How did she do that voice? Link, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If you release us, seal the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule! You can do it! You can! A sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I'll mark his house on your map. I'll watch your every move. I'm certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so let's see what's inside this chest. Is this my reward? Ah, oh, it's not, but this is pretty nice because my life increases when I get one of those suckers. Meet the elder of the village and get the master sword. Link, be careful out there. How do you can save Hyrule? So he, so he's hiding Princess Zelda right here. Want to see the hiding place? Want to see this? This is the hiding place right here. Look at this. Look at this. It's right out in the open. Even the gates are open. What? <laughs> Well, anyway, now that this saga is over and the storm has passed, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. But wait, watch this, watch this, watch this. Press select, you get a little menu here. Oh, you can continue your game or save and quit. I think you know what I'll be choosing here.